Etsy is one of the largest marketplaces in the world. There's so much opportunity, but with great opportunity also comes a lot of competition. And it can be challenging to really stake your claim on a site like Etsy and make sales. One of the ways you can do it is by offering personalized products. Here's an example. This is a custom photo and text. It's a nine plus baskets personalized photo mug with picture. So what you can do is you can select your size mug, you can select your font, and then you can type in your personalization and then you can purchase it. What you're really doing is you're letting the customer take creative control over the product. Here's another one. This is a coffee mug for a dog in demand. Four people have bought this custom pet mug. Same thing. You could select the color of your mug. You'd select your style and then you could enter in your personalization here and then you could basically purchase it. Well, in this video, I'm going to walk through how this actually works. And I'm going to be using Gelato, which is a premium print on demand interface. I'll put a link to Gelato in the video description below. And just a heads up, it is an affiliate link. That just means if you wind up purchasing the Gelato package, the subscription, I would receive a small commission. I did want to point out as well that the link will give you 50 percent off your first order if you place it within 72 hours of signing up. That's pretty awesome. So let's jump in and explore the personalization studio inside of Gelato. If you've never heard of Gelato before, this is a really cool website and I highly recommend that you create a free account and you check it out. You've got men's clothing, women's clothing, and then you've got other things like tote bags, wall art, and then various house goods as well, stationery, calendars, and so on. I'm just gonna click on women's clothing, for example. You'll see there's a whole bunch of different options here. If I go into hoodies, which is one of my personal favorites, check out all the different products that are offered here. Different colors, different sizes, different styles, and this is really high end. I've used Gelato for years and I really enjoy the quality of not only the printing, but of the actual designs as well. There's a ton of variety. And one of the things I really like about Gelato is it ships globally from different points of production, which means a lot of times you're gonna wind up not paying import fees and duty and that's a really big deal when you're selling on a site like Etsy that can be competitive with price points. Okay, so I'm gonna walk through now how the personalization studio works from start to finish. So when you log into Gelato and you get your menu along the left-hand side, there's a menu that says personalization studio, and then you can click the try it now button. There's also some FAQs down below that you can see as well. So at the top here, I'm gonna click try it now. And then from here, you're gonna get a free trial. I'll quickly mention the cost, which is down in the FAQ, and you'll see there's different tiers. Basically, you pay a fixed amount per month, and then anything more than that, you'd pay a transactional fee as well. So I'm gonna click on this Try It Now button here, Introducing Personalization Studio, Try It Now. It's gonna give me now a free trial for 14 days. So I'm gonna click the Get Free Trial. Okay, so if you're not sure which one to try here, I just recommend starting off with the first one. It's a dollar transaction fee per personalized item. And if you know you're going to make more sales, then you could basically get greater value, like $29 a month for 50 or $89 a month for 250. So the cost would go down substantially. I'm just gonna leave it here at the first one and I'm gonna click get free trial. Okay, now it's gonna ask me to pay, but it is $0. So again, this is a free trial and you can cancel this at any time. I'm gonna click continue. Okay, and you should get to a screen that looks like this. Welcome to personalization. It gives you a few benefits here at the top. And now I'm gonna click continue to Gelato. Okay, so now it's gonna take you back to the main page. And you might be wondering, well, where is the actual personalization studio? And what you wanna do is create a product up here at the top right. And then you're gonna sync it to either your Shopify account or to your Etsy account. So at the top here, I'm gonna to go to create product and I'm gonna click on single product. From here, I get to choose my product inside the catalog. I'm gonna go back here to women's clothing and we're gonna select a hoodie. So here we've got different women's clothing. I'm gonna go right to the hoodies. I'm gonna select it. And I'm gonna select the classic Gildan 18500 hoodie. I'm gonna click on it. Okay, and that brings us now into the hoodies. And we can select our color, for example. So we can add colors into the store. You'll see there's colors listed now down on the right-hand side. If you don't like those colors, you can simply uncheck them. So I'm just gonna have a pink hoodie here to start. I'm gonna have one option and then I can have my sizes down below as well. Now let's say I wanna add in a graphic, right? So you can drop a design right here or down at the bottom, you can go to graphics. I'm gonna click on graphics and we can see there's a whole bunch of different graphics here. I'm gonna scroll on down. I'm gonna click on the basketball. We can see the basketball now is right here. I can make it larger. Now what I'd like to do is add a name here 
inside the graphic window so that somebody could purchase this and they could put their own personalized name right there. How do I do that? So what I'm gonna do here on the left-hand side, I'm gonna look for personalize, which is right here. I'm gonna click on personalize, and now we're gonna click on add personalized layer. And we can add an image or a text. I'm gonna add text. And then from here, I can move this box. I can drag it down. I can make it a bit bigger if I want, right like this. Okay, so I've got my layer now set up underneath the basketball, and I can put in sample text as my default. I'm gonna put in personalized text. We can see it goes to the second line, so I'm gonna move that up because people might have a long name or they might wanna put their full name, so I'm gonna leave it like that. And now underneath, I'm gonna click on text options. And what you can do here is you can limit the number of characters that people enter in. So let's say you wanted to just have somebody's first name. You could type that in. You could make it larger or smaller, depending on the size of the text that you wanted. Now I'm really gonna make this interesting here. I'm gonna click on the back of the design as well, and there's actually a space to do the back. So I'm gonna do a name and a number. So I'm gonna add a personalized layer. I'm gonna add text. And then from here, I'm gonna put in sample text and I'm gonna put in the number. I'm gonna make it nice and big. So I've got it right there. That's gonna be my text layer. And I'm going to put in jersey number. So that's gonna tell the client that they can enter in whatever number they would like to have on the back of the jersey. I'm then gonna add another personalized layer. I'm gonna add text. And I'm gonna have this called name. So from here, that will be the person's name on the back of the jersey. So you can see what I'm trying to do here, right? On the front of the jersey now, I've got a basketball design with maybe the team name, and on the back, I've got the person's name and then the number, whatever they would like. It won't literally say name in 01, it'll say whatever the customer wants. So we could have Brenda 23 or Jerry 45. Now one nice thing you can do is you can change the font. So when I click on this, it's called Open Sans, that's the name of the font, but you can change this if you want. I'm gonna change this, for example, to Oswald font. We can see there at the bottom, it totally changes the way the font looks. Same thing on the back. I'm gonna go for a little bit more of a Jersey style font. So I'm gonna click on name and I'm gonna go here to run shrift. This makes it look a little bit more like a soccer Jersey, for example. I'm gonna click on the number and I'm going to click Oswald again. So this is gonna be nice because this look now makes it look a little bit more like an actual soccer Jersey, for example. The font is a really nice feature and you can have it now styled exactly the way you would like. Okay, I'm happy with the way this looks, the front of the jersey and the back of the jersey. So now I'm gonna go up here to the top right, continue to details, and it gives me a title and a description. So what I'd recommend you do is you take a look at similar designs on Etsy to come up with a good looking title. So for example, I'm gonna leave the Gildan 18500 in there, and I'm actually gonna leave the classic unisex pullover hoodie, but I'm gonna say, personalized basketball classic unisex pullover hoodies yield any 18500 and then underneath here I'm going to leave this stuff in as well so I've added in here under the description celebrate your favorite sport basketball you can customize this beautiful hoodie with your team name on the front and your name and number on the back and then I've got the features of the actual product underneath I do like attaching the size table as well because especially if you're buying on a no returns policy it's very important to see what the size is and the care instructions as well. I'm gonna save this at the top. And we can see now we've got the item listed. If you had a store now on Etsy or on Shopify, you would now see it listed on that store. And if you'd like to delete it, you just click the little three buttons over on the right-hand side, and you've got an option now to delete it. You can also duplicate it, which is nice. If you wanted to create variants, different similar designs, you could duplicate it, and then you could simply change out the graphics, or you could move it slightly, different fonts, that kind of thing. I really hope you found this walkthrough helpful. I really like using Gelato. I find the quality of the products is very high and the shipping really can't be beat because they manufacture and ship locally as much as possible. And not only is that great for the environment, it's great for the customer because they get stuff quicker and they also get stuff without having to pay duty as much as possible. And that's a huge deal. Make sure to check out the Gelato link in the video description below. Thanks a lot for watching. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your print on demand journey and have some fun doing it.